Hi, this is Brian Crescenti, news editor with Polygon. I'm here with Ted Price, CEO and founder of Insomniac Games. We're at EA Spotlight event where we've been checking out Fuse, your guys' new game. And uh, specifically, I've been playing a little bit of Echelon. Can you explain a little bit what Echelon is? Sure, it's, it's a multiplayer wave-based mode, but unlike today's other wave-based modes, it's offensive in nature. So you and your friends are going after the enemies that show up in this round. And each battle is 12 rounds, and each battle is also randomized because we have six different sub-objectives that could appear at any time during these big battles. I think people who are fans of Insomniac know that you guys love your weapons. You come up with some very unique weapons. So let's go through them real quickly. Well, each, each character has a fairly wide arsenal of weapons, from sniper rifles, shotguns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, pistols. But what really differentiates each of these characters is that each one is equipped with something we call Xenotech and each one has its his or her own signature weapon. Okay. So Dalton has the mag shield that Dalton can hold up and move around with, but it also releases this connect, kinetic blast of energy which liquefy any enemies that are nearby. Izzy has the shatter gun, and what happens is when you start firing the shatter gun at enemies, it crystallizes them, which is cool. Right. But better, once you crystallize one, it crystallizes any nearby enemies and creates this sort of tree of crystallized enemies that then can be shattered by either you or your friends. The other two characters, uh, we have Naya Devereaux, who has the warp rifle. And what she can do with that is coat enemies with this fuse antimatter mixture and then trigger a singularity. So enemies will get sucked in and blasted apart. Then we have Crossbow Dude, whose name I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> Jacob Kimball. Okay. Jacob Kimball has the arc shot. The bolts will do burn damage. Uh, they'll also pin enemies to various structures in the environment, but you can also unlock a, a special ability, a trap ability. Right. So when you fire bolts into the environment or into enemies, you can trigger a trap, which sends out streams of, of molten mercury and, and melts any enemies that are in the vicinity. No, another layer to the weapons are that they also augment one another or can't. So can you kind of walk us through that might work? Yeah, these weapons are designed to be to, to work together. And we spent a lot of time experimenting to make sure that players would feel compelled to combine the abilities. So if you have a friend who likes to play the tank role, you can have him moving ahead with a the, with the shield, which first of all protects everybody, but you can be hanging behind him as, say, Jacob, and firing your bolts through the shield while remaining protected. So what we've done is we give both Jacob and Dalton points for any kills that they've got by using that combination. Is there anything that you, when you look at these weapons and the way you created them and look at your previous games, do you feel like uh, any of these are evolutions of those weapons or are there ideas you guys played with in previous games where you're like, we want to push it a little further? I think we always derive some sort of inspiration from our previous weapons, but these, these are pretty unique in the Insomniac arsenal. In, in particular, these have been a, a really enjoyable challenge because balancing them and making sure that there wasn't one that stood out as being more fun than others has been, um, as I said, a challenge for us. And we feel like we've gotten them all to the point where they do work well together, but they're also really fun on their own. And that's, for us, gratifying.